One last thing, listen to the rules. They pluck, they pull. Believe me. I'm walking with God, I don't need a drink. The devil be talking, I don't entertain. I'm walking in faith, I'm so on my seat. I did it in faith, I gave it to God, and He made it great. Put me in good soil and took out the snakes. Hey everyone and good morning welcome back to another lash tech vlog it is currently 5 40 in the morning i took some z oops i took some zquil pills last night when i went to bed like at 9 30 and i woke up like at 4 45 perfectly well rested so i decided that i'm gonna come to the gym and be productive and get my morning started because we have a content day i also get my lashes done today and just some things i want to talk to you guys about so um yeah we're here it is glute day and i'm not going to take you guys in with me just because i already sh oops i already showed you guys in my last vlog my glute routine it's literally the exact same thing every single day or every single glute day i should say so um if you are interested in that then go and look at last week's vlog i will link it down below or put it like a little stamp card or something it is five in the morning why is it already packed you got to be kidding me it's 5 a.m i didn't realize that i was not the only person who wanted to be up at this time and i'm back i just got done with the gym i wear this like little nike headband that i've honestly been loving for the gym because it keeps my um sweat i sweat a lot on my head for some reason um so i feel like this um headband hold on keeps my head from getting um sweaty and i love that and it just really like soaks up the what do you call it it really soaks up the sweat so i love that so much but it was a really good little glute sesh i'm so glad that i woke up i feel so productive i feel so energized i feel so ready for the day i love this like i need to start waking up early for the gym again like this was amazing i feel so rest i feel so rested and ready to conquer and ready to conquer the day wanted to show you guys how i strap the knee let me see move move i know you want to sit i know you want to sit hold on baby hold on I put this towel down just so she feels more, yeah, I don't know what this does for her, but she loves it. And then I strap in her seatbelt. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I'm going to leak it down below because honestly, it is the best. I don't know if you guys can see, but Mia does get car anxiety and I feel so bad for her, but like she loves going places, but this is just how she gets. So I'm sorry to baby, but this is the number one thing that she likes and what she feels more comfortable in when we are driving. I had the car seat. She hated the damn car seat. So this new seatbelt has honestly saved our lives. She can sit down, she can lay down, and she feels really, really strapped in. So baby is locked and loaded and ready to go. I know it's my fault. I'm supposed to bring that. Um, by any chance, do you have, um, um, what is it called? What is that thing called? Uh, a nail filer for your tweezers? No, I don't Fuck, oh, okay, because mine, it's back like, then, bitch, back then. I know, I was like, I need to bring, I totally, I told myself well, wait, too, because on my tweezer, it's not, it's not dull, but it's dull. Like, I feel like oh, if I were to, yeah, it? if I would file it a little bit, I, I think it would like, you know, sharpen it up a bit. The next door. <laughs> she does. She has her sure filers. Oh, does she? Yeah, for Damn. sure. Damn. She has five she does nails. I made it to Raquel's studio. I have to get my lashes done because, you know, we're looking like a crackhead homeless. Okay. These are yours. Oh. Are those by the... Yeah, I'll just use these. Yeah, yeah. I'll just use these ones because mine are sold dull. All right, so you guys are always asking me what I get on my eyelashes, and I feel like I said it thousands of times, but I'll repeat it again. Um, I get C-curl 8 through, what's the longest length? 14. 14, yeah. And then C-curl um, open eye, because, yeah, that's what I'm feeling this month. It might change next month, but that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to let her do her thing, and then if it gets funny, I'll turn it on, but yeah. <laughs> bye. So. Hold on, hold on. Bitch. 
<laughs> okay, so you know how we're not supposed to have copy prior to our appointment? <laughs> this is on Raquel's fucking lash cart. Three shots <laughs> of express, bitch! Three shots of express, are you kidding me? She can't stop crying. Look at it, she looks like a fucking psycho. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> Bro, you need to record it when it's moving though. Like for real. Oh, I know I will. Oh, you have a. Oh, it's okay, leave it. I want okay. bottom lashes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear a strip that matches this one. <laughs> it's okay, you just need to calm down. So she has yeah, coffee. She's yeah. tweaking the fuck out. Her lashes so are, bad. are fluttering so bad. My, my, lash, my eyes are You're fucking literally, twerking. My look, eyes are... I know I drink water and I have to pee during my services, but coffee, bitch. I coffee? Know. No, honestly, hold on, guys. Look at my room. But look at it. She has coffee over there somewhere. That's not coffee. That's tea. Oh. That's Thai tea, bitch. That sure has caffeine. No, it doesn't. Oh, all the Starbucks workers. That oh, is homemade. Oh, it's okay. Black tea has caffeine. That's not black tea. Oh, chai is in black tea. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's not my fault. It is my fault. It is your fault. It Let is. me put this down. I do take accountability. But no, you really do need to record it, bitch, and that's just twerking. So you could show them, like, what it looks like, how retarded. Are she you have my now? whole eye shut. No, no, you're still crying. I know. No, it's not that. I don't think I'm okay. Like, I think that they're going to twerk, bitch. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm so okay. Weird. Weird. We're getting this done. You're not going out like that, Raquel. <laughs> Julia, lash aesthetics. Did my lashes? Period. I'm just kidding. Nah. All right. I'm good though. Why don't you take a nap? Get some melatonin. Are you sure? Yeah. Good. I think I'm okay. Yeah. I just was tweaking a little bit. It's come down now. Here, use this one. I thought oh, you were gonna give me my coffee. Imagine. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna drink more. Oh my God. Yeah. Don't ever drink coffee. Don't do it before. She's the last tech. Yeah, honestly though, what well, last thing listens to the rules? They pluck, they pull. Triple espresso. It says right fucking there. Yeah, they screenshot that is good. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at Starbucks. I didn't know how to build my coffee. <laughs> Just trying to do my job. Period. I like that eye shape. Nope. I like that like jumping too. Bro, don't be fucking doing me dirty again with my unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> I have Oh, period. Look at this. Hold on. Let me get close. Yeah, look at this to. flutter. Ooh, what does it just look wait. like? I want to see it. Hold on. I'll have to... okay. Do you Bitch, see this? I can feel my eye moving. Yeah, look at her eye doesn't even want to close. Dude, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, Raquel. You want to see? Look what. Okay, look. It's not going to go away. It's just caffeine. It stays inside your system. <gasps> Do you want a penny? Oh yeah, do you have one? Yeah. I forgot about it. And we'll that. tape it. <laughs> hey guys, we're back home now. Just finished getting our lashes done and I love them. I think they look super full, super wispy. This is how I like my lashes. You may not like your lashes like this, but I love my lashes. Like super full, super textured, super wispy. Yes, yes, yes. So um, I did come home to drop off Mia real quick. Um, and then me and Raquel, I'm sorry, me and Rachel were like, wow, that was exhausting. We deserve micheladas. So that's what we're about to go do. Um, ignore my 
Yeah, I have... <laughs> I have that pile of clean clothes and I have that pile of clothes on the floor. Don't judge me. I have to get to laundry. I told myself that I would eventually get to it, but girl, I am tired. I'm so tired. Um, let's put this a little straggly, but um, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. We are back home. Um, yeah, I have so much, like, I have a lot to do, but I don't have a lot to do. It just never seems like, like, okay, I told you guys that I'm taking um, two days off now for, like, content purposes. And it's great. It's a great balance because it's keeping me very consistent. I'm loving it. However, it still feels like there's not enough time in the day. <sighs> Honestly, it's not even, I don't know, just... I just feel like it's never ending. Laundry is never ending. Everything. So. Yeah. Um. Um. Just. This one piece. This one. It's like low key. Oh. There it went. Hi hey everyone. I'm all ready to go. So I don't know. I'm deciding if I want to keep the claw clip up or not. Or if I just want to take my hair down but I think my makeup came out so good like skin tone everything even when like without the filter is giving so I'm thinking that I want to record the beginning of the video like this with the lighting because it's going to be a little dark in my studio so I'm wondering if I should just if this is okay I don't know, I'm gonna check back out in the footage and then we'll see you guys when we get to the studio because I'm trying to hurry up and get this done. I'm super excited for this video. I really hope that you guys are gonna like it. Um, I don't know what else to say besides that um, we're just gonna come back. I feel like I wanna go somewhere. Like I feel like my makeup looks so good. But there's nowhere to go. And no one to come with because I know everybody's like busy. It's Tuesday. Um, I don't know. But we'll see you guys when we get to the studio. Alrighty, guys. We're here at the studio. And I wanted to show you guys real quick what the tripod is looking like. And then um, these really cool, um, what are they called? Quick releases things. So this is a little device that you put on any tripod and you'll just push it. Boom. And it easily pops off so that you can interchange your um, camera to any tripod with quick ease. So I love that so much. And um, the tripod is perfect. As you can see, it is not too big. It is like the literally the perfect height, especially like when I am just vlogging, this is what I needed. I needed just a quick tripod, a nice handheld tripod for when I am vlogging. Perfect, I'm loving this setup. This is it, this is golden. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna do a, um, whatchamacallit? I'm not even gonna do, let me fix my claw clip a little bit. I'm not even gonna do um, the microphone. I was, I was gonna let them like redeem themselves, but at this point, you guys, I'm just over it. I'm just done. I'll probably give it a chance, but I have a feeling it's just not gonna work and that's fine. I think my audio quality honestly wasn't even bad prior to getting a microphone, so. It is what it is. But anyways, we are here at the studio. So I have a vision for how I really want this video to play out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is like stand right here and talk or probably a little bit closer. I kind of want to like the background so you can kind of see the lash bed and everything and maybe the cart. So maybe like somewhere where you can see the background where everything just kind of stands out. Probably like right here, so you could see everything. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna have the big, I'm gonna have the nice light, and then what I wanna do is do B-roll footage of me cleaning the lash cart. Because realistically, this is my lash cart right now, you guys. This is what it looks like, okay? She's a little bit of a mess. She's a little disorganized. We need to stock up on some, some stuff, like, you know, the you know, just the basics and just clean it up. I need to wipe it down, make it look cute. But this is the reality of it. You all know if you're lash tech, 
Your lash card don't look spotless 24 seven. <laughs> okay, maybe, okay, well, maybe yours is, but mine's not. So that's my real life. So I thought I'd go ahead and explain that and then show like a cute B-roll footage, like really quick B-roll footage, like not even 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds, and then go straight into like actually diving in and talking about each tier of my lash card. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold it like this but alrighty guys i just finished filming and i think it came out so good and this light are you kidding i'm telling you guys you need to get this light it just literally gives you this beautiful glow are you are you seeing it are you seeing it stunning so we just finished filming like i said i think it came out really really good my lash cart looks so spiffy as you guys can see in the back um i just need to figure out a way that like this can get mounted onto my camera Maybe if i put it here oh wait i think i just did something hold on well if i would have known it could stick on there like that i would have done it no i don't know about y'all but i'm feeling real cute or whatever oh my god i'm loving this light this light is gonna come so in handy for lash con and for the event that's coming up but yeah like i said we just finished filming it came out really really great um everything is nice and tidy i already picked up so we're gonna go home and i'm hungry i'm debating if i want to get myself something to eat or what also um real quick i did want to share with you guys something that i got in the mail which is l-glutamine i heard this stuff is amazing for like bloating i did take it before it says take it on the empty stomach um i don't really know if it's like doing anything but let me take the light off real quick so this is what i look like right now i literally i'm so let me turn this off so i'm so tired of looking like i'm pregnant like, look at that. I look like I have a little belly. So I did take two like an hour ago, I think. So I don't really know if it's working or if, honestly, it made me even more bloated. I don't know because I normally bloat like this all the time, you guys. I look like I'm like five months pregnant all the time. And I didn't really eat anything heavy today. I had guac and chips and then I had what I made for breakfast this morning. So. I'm hoping that it really does help. I'll keep you guys updated, but yeah, we looking like we have a whole ass baby in our tummy. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> but um, but yeah guys, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my stuff together and then we're gonna head home. My room is a mess. Don't judge me, don't talk to me, just whatever. And um, you guys are going to judge me so hard right now, but I got some Jack in the Box. Look, I've been doing really, really good on my eating. I'm hungry. It is 8.43. Focus. It is 8.43. Yeah, so it's 8.43 at night. I'm tired. I'm not going to cook right now. It's ridiculous. I should be in bed, pop the pill by now. Um, but I'm starving. And um, I'm just gonna sit here and go on my computer. Ooh, wow. Mm. Go on my computer a little bit. Respond to some comments. Because I'm just gonna sit here and eat. Throw that stuff on the floor. Who knows when I'm gonna fold it. <laughs> and I go to bed. Mmm. So these are the pills that I took last night. These bad boys right here knocked me out, had me up at four o'clock in the morning. So guess what I'm gonna do tonight again? Today literally drained me. I'm exhausted. I don't wanna take my makeup off, but I'm not sleeping with a full face of makeup on. So like I said, I'm gonna throw that stuff on the floor 
I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, girl, but I'm gonna get to it soon, eventually, but it ain't happening tonight. Uh, and then I'm going to wipe off my makeup, put my PJs on, take my Z-Quil, go to sleep. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But if not, we'll see you guys in another day. We'll see you guys whenever. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm ready. It was a really, really good gym session this morning. It was really nice. Got in and I got out and I was good to go. So, um, I have some Amazon packages that I want to open up with you guys um, that I kind of already took out of the box because I'm impatient. So, um, I already played with it, but I wanted to show you guys what I got and then talk about it a little bit. But real quick, let me show you guys. Um, how cute is this sweater? It says Lash Artist on it, and it's black and white and has, like, these little checkers. I believe this is from Dollhouse Co. or something. I don't know if I can find it. I'll put it, like, right here down below. Um, but it is a full crew neck that actually, like, comes down here. Um, but I tucked it into my bra because, you know, I had to hooch it by it a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know about these leggings, though. They're making me look like I have hip dips. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I'm very boxy right here. Like, if I turn, you can see my booty. But if I'm this way, like... <laughs> I'm going to be the off. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, super, super cute. If I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I just tucked it in my bra to give it more of like a, I'm debating if I want to cut it. I don't know, but um, let's go. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and like open up some of these Amazon things and just show you guys what I got. So I did get a new, um, another quick release from Yulani's. Um, I told you guys in my last vlog that I got these new like tripod holder things so that you can take your camera and easily place them on different tripods. Like for example, if you're a content creator girly like myself, um, once I get a car mount, um, I can easily take my camera off of my little handheld tripod that I have for like vlogging in the store or like right here in the morning or just when I'm out and about. Um, and then I could place it on my overhang tripod that I have at my studio for when I'm recording, like when I'm lashing throughout my day. Um, so this is what they look like, if it will focus. Hold on, let me adjust my settings. Okay, I think I think I fixed it, let me see. Oh, yep, I fixed it. Okay, so here um, is the little quick release, it's from the brand new Lani's. I, as you guys know, I just bought my new handheld tripod, I showed you guys that yesterday. Um, but like I said, these go on your tripod, so right here you just like screw it onto the top. Um, and then when you want to take your camera off, all you do is just push. So there's a button here in the back and then there's a button here in the front. So you just push it and then boom, it just pops off. Definitely is really convenient, especially when like I'm vlogging. So you just push it back in and then it like clicks in place. So it's locked and loaded and it's not going anywhere. And then right here, ignore my nail, I broke it. But um, you could just push this lever, boom, and it's locked in place. So you can't even... You can't take it off. So I think that's awesome, that's amazing. So I wanna put this on my handheld tripod in my studio. So I am gonna take this with me. Um, yeah, super cool. Like I said, I'll link it down below, super awesome. Especially if you are a content creator, a girly. Um, next thing that I got, like I said, I already opened it, but it is just this travel bag for like your toiletries because we are going on a brand trip this weekend. I leave Sunday night to Bakersfield and I come back on Tuesday. Like I told you guys in my last vlog, I had a really good meeting with a brand and I can't disclose anything um, uh, as of yet, but I'm gonna vlog that whole thing, that whole experience for you guys. So you guys are definitely gonna come along with me on that. But yeah, I got this little bag for, you know, traveling because I am gonna stay in a hotel or whatever. So, um, and then like LashCon's coming up like two weeks later, so, you know, I just wanted to be prepared. So it is just this basic little travel kit that comes with like 
little like cup things to put like toothpaste or body lotions or whatever. Um, it comes with like little spray bottles if you want to put like hairspray, alcohol, water, whatever the case may be. And then it comes with two different sizes of these little squeezy tubes. So it's like this big one and then this, these little small ones. And excuse me, I love the color of these because black and light cream, you guys know those are my colors, my aesthetic or whatever. But um, yeah, I thought this would be perfect for traveling because um, I, like last year I had something similar to this, but it was a little too big and it did come in handy and I have no idea what I did with it. Must have left it at my mom's or something. But yeah, I love the fact that I can go ahead and put like my lash wash in here my face wash will fit in here like everything is pretty much good to go as far as like travel size and then like in that vlog like that brand trip vlog like you'll see me i'm gonna pack with you guys and everything so yeah that's everything that we got in this little bag i'm trying to kind of hurry because i want to hurry up and make my protein drink and some protein waffles before i leave um next i got a makeup travel bag from this brand and um, I had seen this on TikTok and I was like, ooh, I need that. And I got it because it has like two flaps. So it has this little side right here for like to put like your makeup brushes and stuff. I thought that was really cool because I hate mixing my makeup brushes with my makeup. Like I just hate when it gets messy like that. And then it has this second compartment, which is actually pretty big to put like foundations, blushes and everything else in it. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Oof. I got like a good whiff of plastic. So I think this is gonna be super amazing for traveling. It's just gonna make everything so much more convenient and anything to make my life easier, girl, anything. Um, what else was And then I got an, a super, super unnecessary purchase, but I feel like it was very much necessary. It is disposable plastic cups. Because look, okay, like when I'm making my protein drink or like sometimes I like to like in the summertime or like even yesterday, I like making like cucumber waters and taking them to work or like my green juices. And I don't have any like travel portable cups that are small enough to fit my stuff, my drinks. So um, I did get this packet. It came with lids, um, these green, um, what are they called? Straws and then cups. Um, super convenient for me. So this is what they look like when it's like all together. It is just a really nice cup. I believe these are, these are 20 ounce clear plastic cups with lids and straws and it comes with 25 of them. So yeah, I'm gonna make my protein drink in this right now. And then I love that when I'm at my studio, I could just throw this away. I don't have to bring a cup back home and wash dishes. I'm tired of washing dishes. Okay, real quick, I'm about to leave. But I have to show you guys my chai and my new little cups. The bitches be like, if I didn't post it, it didn't happen. Me, it's me, I'm bitches. I have to share this with you guys. I have to share this on Instagram for my girlies. But here are my cute little Starbucks drinks. I mean, Starbucks drinks. My cute little cups, Starbucks who? Spending $6 on a drink who? Not me. I made it, but I'm like three minutes. I'm sorry, I'm like three minutes late. I'm so sorry. I'm not, look, I'm not gonna lie. It was my dog's fault, okay? This time, and, and, it's, and I would never do that to my poor baby, oh my but God, she no, took the fine. meanest ever. It was so, she's so bad. Hold on, little girl. I know. Oh, no, please. I just came right after I dropped off the kids because I was like, I can hold in like at 8.50. Oh, okay. I in like at 8.20, so I was like, I'm just going to head right over here. Yeah. So You're here early, yeah. You I know, I'm so surprised. Good. Thank you. Come on. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. It's so hard, isn't it? it <sighs> but your dedication. Yes. I had to. Like this morning, I woke up early oh, and that was the only way I can get it done. Yeah. Yeah, they look so good. Like I your know. eye color is phenomenal, dude. Oh, I'm obsessed. Thank you. Um, we're listening to Crime Junkie today, okay? <laughs> yes. Um, you listen to a lot of good stuff, then I start getting into it. <laughs> In and what out. Of we, what were we watching last time? Scamanda, right? Yeah. Was that with you? Scamanda. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good.
Yeah, not bad for a three week feel. I, I mean, know. this size is a little yes. bit bolder, but. I think this is the side I sleep in, so it's always the one that gets it. The worst. Two Anchorage police officers respond to Lizette's duplex. She can't stand, she's kind of flailing around, and her eyes keep rolling back in her head. Is she even able to tell police what's going on, like communicate with them at all? No. She's missed that Elizabeth does not use drugs recreationally, except for weed, which is legal in Alaska. Uh, yeah, and I've never heard of anyone having a reaction like this to weed. We learn Elizabeth is a Florida transplant who just fell in love with Alaska years ago when she visited with a friend. But her family, like her mom, two sisters, and brothers, still live in Miami. So everything he has, the one thing he didn't have was dash cam footage of the initial police response, like when the ambulance was there at the house. Now, Anchorage PD told him that they only had dash cam footage from the second time death of Mung Chi Chi, despite her body not being found. Oh, finally. Yeah, it's a relief for everyone. Honestly, this has been such a journey. Yeah, it's because they, they found like one thing the after another. Let's the camera real quick. So can see. Yes. Wow. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with this. Um, good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. We are a little bit late for church, but today is the day. Yeah, go straight and then you're going to. Oh, wait, it was that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Cottonwood. That one's the seventh. Sorry, terrible cold boy. <laughs> um, but today is the day that we get baptized. I'm so excited, um, but we're rushing. So we'll see you guys when we get inside. <laughs> she frames this, it's so important. I want you to hear this. Because you're in Satan's crosshairs. Listen to this. So it says here in number seven, Western values will have been tested their breaking point. If we could put the list up again, I think some people were taking pictures. This is a reference we could put up yeah. in a second. But Western values, what are Western values? Well, Western values are an extension of the Judeo-Christian construct, specifically of Christian New Testament teaching. Western values is a belief in God-granted natural rights and separation of powers and consent of the governed. Western values just rejects this idea that a singular individual has a mandate to rule without any question over you. Uh, Western values is the fruits of the Enlightenment blended correctly with the truths of the Bible and things from antiquity. That, that Western values is why we are able to have the technological advancements, the medical advancements, the communication advancements that we enjoy. But more than anything else, Western values, this right here, what they say, this is code. Western values? No, no, no. They're really saying biblical values. That's you exactly it. Okay? Because they, they, they know that if they put biblical values on the website, boom, okay, then everyone will be talking about it. That's but right. Western values, like, okay, yeah, whatever. Like, that sounds like something in a college course. What they're trying to say is they're going to try to break, by 2030, biblical values. Yes. Hey, guys, I'm in the restroom. I'm kind of going to whisper because... I don't know why I'm whispering, but anyways, um, I just changed right now into my, what is this, walk in newness church that they gave us at the church, and I'm just gonna wear some, um, like, Nike leggings, and I'm so ghetto, I forgot to bring shoes. Girl, I don't have shoes on in a bathroom. It's disgusting, and I need to walk out right now. I was gonna wear my heel. I'm not wearing heels in this. I'm not. But I don't have a choice. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, ignore my camera. It's okay, you guys can come in. I'm just vlogging. Who forgets chocolates? Excuse me. Talk about 
how embarrassing. I look like a hooker at church. Anyways, I'm so excited. So we'll see you guys when we get dunked. We did it. Everybody meet John. It's not a secret. It's my boyfriend. <laughs> I hope that this encourages anyone else out there. Like, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't feel. What is the word? Just don't. Don't feel, feel insecure. Yeah. Like, or no, like, like, I'm embarrassed. Like, don't feel embarrassed. Like, remember, we are all gonna go somewhere one day, and you guys just. And I'd rather go to heaven. Yes. And the the way the world works now, it just seems like you know, they just make fun of you. You know. Keeping yeah. it the same way, keeping it following God. It's just so normalized normalized that, you know, it just doesn't matter anymore to a lot of people. It was really overwhelming, really emotional, hence my makeup, but hey guys, it is way later. Um everybody left. So wow, first of all, let's talk. That was amazing my experience, my baptism, it was incredible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do feel like I really thought I was gonna feel just way more different than how I feel. I don't know, like I still feel the same, like by the same time I don't, maybe, it, I, I, don't think it, I don't think it's gonna hit me now, I think it'll hit me when things like occur or when things come up. Um, but in the moment though, it did feel really amazing. It was definitely a great experience. You know, I'm so thankful to all of you guys who are super supportive when it comes to me and my, you know, my spirituality journey. Like it's definitely been a ride and I'm just so thankful to God. I'm so thankful to have the family together that we had. We ended up coming back to my house and just eating and just, you know, just, we ended up coming back to my house and just everybody got together and retained out. But yeah, it was really cool. It was just such an amazing, I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to God. And I, what can I say? Like, I just feel so blessed and, you know, really ready to, I'm ready for this walk. I'm ready for this journey. Um, like I've told you guys countless times, it's not easy. If anything, it's going to be way more harder now. 
I think the pressure is going to be on a lot more, but it, to me, it's like, bring it on. If that's what it means to walk a better life with Christ. Um, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, I really don't have words. Like, I really feel like I should be explaining things. I don't know. I just, I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say, but I just feel like I could definitely should be explaining things better, more. I feel like I should have more to say. So I'm super sorry if I don't. Um, I'm just like, just joy. That's all I could say is just joy, happiness, and just feeling so blessed. Yeah, this is where we're ending this vlog. Um, ignore everything in the back. I am packing for my very first rant trip. So crazy. So I'm all packed up and ready to go. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. I love you guys so much again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you guys in my next one.